Gordon Ramsay is well known for being uh, a Scottish-born Michelin uh, star chef who owns uh, several uh, cooking shows uh, and also did sponsors for different uh, companies. Uh, Kitchenware also uh, kicked off uh, Master Chef, Master Chef Junior, and also uh, owned several Gordon Ramsay's restaurants. And also was probably uh, one of the most funniest people uh, on the interview show Hot Ones uh, where he was very struggling uh, dealing with the spiciness of the hot sauces. Now Gordon Ramsay has been known for traveling internationally to every single uh, continent uh, across the globe. Uh, trying uh, different uh, foods and uh, learning about different cultures and also uh, wrote uh, many cookbooks. And he's also uh, known for challenging other people uh, to uh, comp competitions. And just recently, Gordon Ramsay cooked for a group of uh, Buddhist uh, monks uh, from Wimbledon's uh, Thai temple. Now, food preparation uh, and uh, challenging himself, uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, used to do. Uh, show called The F Word where uh, he would prepare a, a delicious three course meal at his uh, restaurant. Uh, where even his mom uh, got involved uh, in a baking competition. Uh. But uh, just recently cooking for uh, some Buddhist monks at uh, the Thai temple. Gordon Ramsay uh, went to the kitchen at the Blue Elephant restaurant uh, to meet executive uh, chef uh, Chang. And in the kitchen, uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, cooked for uh, the Buddhist monks uh, with uh, Chang there. And while uh, Chef uh, Chang said uh, people usually don't send food back at his uh, restaurant. And Gordon Ramsay understands uh, how uh, hard it is when you're the most famous uh, Michelin star chef out there and you're well known everyone looks up to you uh, from different countries and across the world and uh, you're afraid that you'll make a mistake and people will call you out for it now oh, Gordon Ramsay starts up uh, starts uh, cooking up uh, using some uh, shallots uh, some spring onions uh, chilies uh, tamarind uh, Paste uh, and a bunch of uh, absolute uh, whopper prawns, uh, and uh, he was excited to, uh, to cook for uh, Buddhist monks, which he never did that before. And while everything was going good, Gordon Ramsay puts in some fish sauce, salt, and uh, sugar, 
like you're supposed to uh, do it uh, in the rest. Then put the beaten egg in the wok uh, before uh, throwing in the sauce along with noodles and bean sprouts. And while uh, most people uh, who uh, aren't familiar with uh, pad thai, which uh, Gordon Ramsay is making, And people have seen uh, Gordon Ramsay make uh, Pad Thai before. People would expect that, oh, this is just another uh, thing that he does uh, on uh, another hooking special that he usually does when he goes uh, around the world. And before sending it out, Chef Chang slops them and uh, takes a spoonful and uh, and then he gave uh, Gordon Ramsay a dirty look. Yep, he's not happy. And he called out uh, Gordon Ramsay for cooking it wrong. Which he says, what do you want? want to know from me. Ask me. And Gordon Ramsay asked, how is it? And uh, Chef Chang says, uh, hmm, no, this is not Pad Thai at all. No, Pad Thai has to be sweet, sour, and salty. Now people who uh, who are uh, big fans of Gordon Ramsay would find this shocking and uh, assume that Chef uh, Chang is not knowing uh, what he's talking about. Gordon Ramsay uh, tries to uh, turn things around uh, and tries to disagree, saying, I, I think it doesn't taste too bad. It's not perfect. And uh, Chef Chang says, for you, but not for me. Now this is uh, when uh, Gordon Ramsay can learn a thing from uh, Chef Chang. Because even the most best chefs and cooks out there and, uh, can always uh, have room for improvement. You might be really good, but you have room for improvement. Gordon and Ramsay is uh, used to uh, winning and getting a lot of uh, approval from people uh, cooking and uh, people are just trying to make him uh, feel good about himself and uh, feel appreciated uh, for how good he is and uh, how he uh, started from this way of where he started off. But there's a lot of people who are not uh, happy about uh, how uh, Gordon Ramsay is approaching, uh, how uh, going to different uh, countries and trying to cook for other people and uh, not doing it as good as uh, how originally you're supposed to cook it up from. And Gordon Ramsay is used to uh, cooking European uh, and uh, some common uh, Asian dishes. Uh, that you might find at Chinese uh, buffets or other uh, fast food uh, Asian restaurants like Panda Express. Gordon Ramsay uh, has uh, these uh, food uh, shows uh, where he goes to different countries and uh, competes against uh, other people, chefs and cooks from those countries and uh, see how well he does and uh, if he can beat them. Kind of like a beat Bobby Flay thing, but uh, he actually goes to a different uh, country and does it himself and he learns things and then tries it out and see how well he does. 
Gordon Ramsay went to uh, South Korea one time and was featured as a guest on the uh, Korean uh, blog show, which the English title is uh, What's in My Refrigerator, which the Korean title is It's similar to Deng Jong and or something similar to that. Eh, Deng Jong It's a KBS uh, or SBS uh, broadcast uh, show where these Korean uh, chefs uh, they discuss food and uh, chefs uh, two chefs go head to head and. In the kitchen, and under a certain uh, time limit, uh, they cook uh, a Korean uh, food uh, menu in that time, and see how well they do with only the ref ingredients in the refrigerator. So they can't cheat. They can't go out the shopping at uh, Kore any Korean supermarkets. So. They can't go to E-Mart, uh, which is the Korean supermarket that's commonly in uh, every single uh, corner of South Korea. And they can only use uh, what's in the refrigerator. Gordon Ramsay was featured in one episode. And those chefs are big fans of Gordon Ramsay. They looked up to him. They started uh, their chef uh, jobs because they are big fans of Gordon Ramsay. And they started their own path. So uh, one the Korean uh, chef uh, competed against Gordon Ramsay. And Gordon Ramsay was cussing uh, like a sailor. Like he usually does. Uh, in Hell's Kitchen. Master Chef. And just about any other cooking show he has. Or uh, anywhere she showed up. And uh, cooking time was 15 minutes, and he spent, he wasted like five minutes trying to figure out all the ingredients. While the Korean chef, he got an advantage uh, because he knew what he was doing. He's familiar with the ingredients, and Gordon Ramsay just cooked up what he just basically knows uh, about some Asian food and just uh, do, uh, cook the Asian dish. And since they're a big fan of Gordon Ramsay, they let him win by default since he's the guest, and they're a big fan of him. In respect. And they were making fun of uh, Gordon Ramsay for cursing, because uh, they found, found that funny, because he does, uh, they watch MasterChef and Hell's Kitchen. Now, South Korea might be a big fan of uh, Gordon Ramsay and uh, they just let him win by default because he just showed up and they're big fans. Gordon Ramsay went to India and it's a cooking show. Uh, and unlike uh, the South Korea one, which was uh, not uh, his, uh, it was uh, owned by the cooking uh, show people at uh, KBS or SBS. Good to go on by Gordon Ramsay. Uh, he showed up to uh, India to uh, learn some cooking and did some uh, cooking in the uh, forest. Uh, and uh, he learned uh, cooking uh, some uh, one of uh, Indian curry from a chef in a restaurant. And he entered a cooking contest uh, where the chefs go on head to head and see who makes the best curry. So you may think that oh they India they know who Gordon Ramsay is. So they might sorta of let him win. Maybe top three, top ten. India the IDGAFOS Gordon Ramsay may know how to cook stuff, but he is not the best at every single culture. Gordon Ramsay placed last place in the cooking competition in every single Indian 
Cook and Chef, they won and they were laughing at him. So, Gordon Ramsay literally got beat in the country he was thinking he would have an upper edge uh, like uh, he may have uh, done in some other con European countries or some other Asian countries like Indonesia or South Korea. Although he should know that South Korea, just uh, the cooking show, just let him win because they're big fans. Although he was cooking out uh, very terribly. And if we really wanted to learn uh, Korean uh, food, uh, he could have just learn from a Korean uh, chef uh, who is uh, popular, take it back home and uh, cook it for his uh, kids, his five kids and wife. And it would uh, be healthy eating because South Korea is well known for well-being foods and healthy eating, which not there's not many people who are obese compared to USA and Canada. On Hot Ones, uh, a food enthusiast uh, by the name of Eddie Huang, who is a Taiwanese-American uh, who, who does a blog show called uh, Cash Only. He went, uh, he goes to uh, restaurants all around for the world where the, they only accept cash. And he uh, goes to these uh, local restaurants and uh, tries them out. And uh, shares uh, what he thinks about their food and uh, shows appreciation. Uh, he doesn't uh, go around the Gordon Ramsay trying to outdo these people. And uh, he threw a lot of... Uh, and insult uh, at uh, Gordon Ramsay saying uh, how he doesn't like uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, cooking show and uh, how he goes to other countries and thinking he can just beat these uh, people who from this uh, in different country then beat them at their own cooking and he described it as going into someone's home and saying I can cook your food better than you and Eddie Huang does have a point. Gordon Ramsay, he could uh, learn to, uh, if he wanted to learn about, uh, for instance, uh, Indian uh, culture, he could have just, uh, not entering that curry competition, uh, he could have just learned about how to cook uh, this and just put it in this cookbook and uh, took it home and also tried to, uh, people, I tried this uh, curry dish. Uh, you can uh, make the uh, same thing over there. And also people could also be inspired off uh, trying that uh, Indian curry dish and also maybe go to India to try it. Uh, and India is known for uh, creating their own spicy dishes and to use a lot of spices and you know, to make some really good stuff. and. And if you uh, wanted uh, wanted to make uh, West African uh, jollof, he could uh, just learn from the locals and uh, put that also in his notes and take it back to uh, England where he lives, and also which also can uh, inspire people to go to West African uh, countries where they make jollof instead of uh, trying to do a cook off or trying to beat people at their own cooking, which is completely disrespectful. So Chef Chang really got, gave uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, and put him in his place just like the Indians who, d who doesn't care about who Gordon Ramsay is just because uh, you're famous, uh, you own a whole bunch of restaurants, you have like, 17 Michelin star chefs, uh, you inspired a lot of people around the world who love to cook. Your daughter, uh, Matilda, wants to follow you in the footsteps and also be a chef as well. Or, and 
you ha you're successful by having a lot of cooking shows and restaurants. And people want to meet up with you and you know, cook as well. But show some respect for other uh, cultures. And uh, if someone corrects you for if you cooked something wrong and instead of uh, thinking that you did it right, you cooked their, their food, uh, culture wrong because people in that country, they know what they're doing, you don't know what you're doing, and you could learn from them. And if you, you can go back home and learn from your mistakes, that's what Gordon Ramsay should have done. And that uh, puts uh, Eddie Huang's uh, point uh, about Gordon Ramsay going to other countries and trying to uh, doing a battle of the cooking thing he does. And uh, next time uh, Gordon Ramsay goes to a major event uh, and has the opportunity to uh, cook for a group of people, he can learn from his, his mistakes and use this the chance to cook something else and actually know what he's doing instead of going in blind and uh, screwing up because he has screwed up a couple times because you can't uh, beat uh, people uh, who are uh, in their own cooking uh, in their own country